Now, how do we know that it is negative data or positive data? So it means that if you look at this yes. MSB side, we when you look at the MSP side, so when the MSP is one, it's negative. When the MSP is zero, then it's positive. So it depends on the MSP. So if the MSP is one, then it is negative. When the MSP is zero, it is positive. Now complexity arises. Complexity arises here. Now let's assume we have a sign data. Now we are we are using the sign representation, the sign data. Now let's assume if we add two plus three. When we add two plus three, what is the result? Five. Five. But five is neither here. Five is not here. Because when we add two, so it is zero one zero and then zero one 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 zero one and then one zero. Actually, it is one zero one. But okay, in unsigned representation, we don't have a problem. We don't have an overflow. But in signed representation, we have an overflow. Because when we add two plus three, the result should ideally be five. But one zero is actually equal to minus three. So what is it? Minus four plus one. Minus. So the overflow will be generated. Now, how we can do this overflow? So if we are adding, now see here we are checking. If we are adding this data a zero, a one up to a fourteen and b fourteen and a fifteen and b fifteen, and if we add this data, so overflow will be one when a fifteen is zero. B fifteen is zero. Zero. So what does it implies? Positive. Both are positive number. A C fifteen is one. Then or so what is it? So an overflow will be one. Okay. Now 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 this is a very is a special case when n is equal to fifteen. Generally speaking, अब मैं generally बात करूँ. So if we are adding an n bit data, so can can we write it like this? A n minus one, a n minus two, a n minus three up to a zero, b zero, b n minus three, b n minus two, b n s minus one. The result is c zero, c n minus three, c n minus two, c n minus one. So when carry will be one? A carry will be one when a carry is generated from here. Agree? No problem. When an overflow will be there, overflow will be one. When a n minus one is zero, b n minus one is zero, and c minus one is one. Now I will generalize it. And now I, the this is generalization. And in this particular example, what is n? What is n? Two. Two. Three. Three. N minus one. So n minus one. Eight. Agreed. Any question? So can we say that the overflow will be generated only in case when we consider five numbers? Five numbers. Inside it, yes. An overflow. It means an overflow will be generated when the when the operand, the result operand, the result is greater than its weights. And it's, it, it's a little bit complicated for other sense also. For other sense. Now we are only thinking from the perspective of an adder. We may have to think from the perspective of multiply. Okay. Now if we multiply to n bit number, the result is at two n bits. So let's assume c is equal to c is equal to a multiplied by b. So if it is n bit and b is n bit, a is n bit. B is n bit. C should be the maximum to 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 consider the worst case scenario. C should be n to n bits. It should be to n bits. Now, now if if you say now if we say for an adder, if we are adding to n bit number, the result is n plus one bits. Okay, but we are multiplying to n bit number. I will explain this with an example. Now let's assume n is eight, uh, n is four. Let's assume n is Four. 
So C is equal to A multiplied by B. What is the maximum range of A? Because N is now 4. The maximum range of A is 15. The maximum range of B is 15. That is the worst case. And the maximum range. If you multiply 15 multiplied by 15, what is the result? 225. And to fit 225, we need how many bits? Seven, eight, At least 8 bits. Eight bits. Because 2 to the power 7 is equal to 128. 2 to the power 8 is? 26. So the, 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 the interpretation of the overflow bits does not determine by only addition. It is also determined by a by multiplication and now we, we need to consider this in when in generally speaking how how can we say how can we say that there is an overflow so if we say that there is an overflow it means that when the result of your computation does not fit with in the size of the memory or the memory object that you have allocated for that variable it, it, it does not fit within that then it will go so generally you can you can interpret it like and the definition of an overflow the definition of an overflow may vary from architecture to architecture the definition of an overflow may also vary from data type to data type within the same architecture now let's see if you are adding if you are adding two if you are adding two positive number for an unsigned representation will overflow occur no because the same data, the same data, the same data, 0, 1, 2, 3 is interpreted as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 in an unsigned representation. So the overflow will be 0 if you are adding to unsigned to unsigned number. Because now the result is also unsigned. And if you remember in C C if you, you did you do type casting? Why you do type casting? Because you need to provide this data to thing. But but the problem was what's the problem? Now let's see. If you say C is equal to A plus B and you define A as an integer and B as a float, define the compiler, then now there is also one default setting for the compiler. What's the compiler automatically does? Maybe compiler is transforming is there are two possibilities. Transforming A into integer, B into integer, and then performing addition. Another possibility transform A into float, B into float, and then what about the result? This is called type casting. So there is some default rules for the compiler, and the compiler decides. If you do not do the type casting, the compiler will do the default casting. But being as a programmer, when you are adding quantities of different types, you have to be very vigilant. You have to be very vigilant. So you can do the type casting there. And type casting is important. So that actually because the integrity of data is very important. Now if you if, now if I say if, if I if I say let's say we have a three-bit number. Let's say okay. Now I I will I will give a very simple example and then let's say we have an eight-bit data. B7, B6. B5, B4, B3, B2, B1, B0. Uh, what is this? This is the No, no, what is this data? What is the representation of this data? By the way, yes, I know by the way. What information can you get from this data? It's positive. Depends, Depends on what? Uh, whether we are using the sign or unsigned data. It's not only sign and sign. There can also a different view. Maybe I say it is A. How? It is A. Escape. Now, if I define this as character C is equal to A, now I have defined character C as an A and A is in the SK value of A is 65. Then I have 64 
Two is four six is sixty four plus two is four zero is one. One. So you have six to add sixty four plus one. It is sixty five. And sixty five is actually the ASCII code. So it depends on the data representation. आप समझा समझा ही बात नहीं है. So actually, जब आप memory की बात करते हैं, everything is in the form of one and zero. Now, now another perspective. Another perspective. One 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 one. Zero 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 zero. This is eight bit data. This is eight bit data. Zero 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 zero. This is R G and B. Which pixel is this? Red one. Red one. I think one 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 one. Yes. Is it a negative number or positive number? It's a pixel representation. Okay. Yes. आप समझ नहीं रहे बात को ठीक है एक्चुअली व्हेन व्हेन यू सी द डेटा सो ये ये ना देखिए 1 एंड 0 में भी कहते कि नहीं 1 एंड 0 1 एंड 0 क्या इंटरप्रिटेशन है 1 एंड 0 का कैरेक्टर इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द टाइप ऑफ द डेटा अच्छा आप देखिए अब आप फ्लोट की बात है 1 1 0 अगर आप फ्लोट की बात की तो आप यहां पे एक मेंटिसा होता है या 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 पे एक बेस होता है या ई होता है या मेंटिसा होता है या होता है ना अब इसकी जो रिप्रेजेंटेशन है इसकी जो स्टोरी रिप्रेजेंटेशन इट विल बी डिफरेंट फॉर लॉन्ग इट विल बी डिफरेंट इट आल्सो डिपेंड्स अपॉन इट वेदर द फ्लोट इज अ 4 बाइट मे बी लॉन्ग और डबल इज 8 बाइट्स व्हाट इज द एक्चुअल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द डेटा इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम डिफरेंट पर्सपेक्टिव्स सो द पर्सपेक्टिव अब देखिए मेमोरी स्टोर्स द डेटा इन द फॉर्म ऑफ 1 एंड 0 बट हाउ डू यू इंटरप्रेट द डेटा डिपेंड्स अपॉन योर इंटरप्रिटेशन इट डिपेंड्स ऑन Yeah, your interpretation. So, what is your interpretation? ठीक है अब जिस तरह से आप देखिए डिफरेंट लैंग्वेजेस हैं हर लैंग्वेज में डिफरेंट वर्ड्स हैं ठीक है एक वर्ड एक लैंग्वेज में उसकी एक मीनिंग है दूसरी लैंग्वेज में डिफरेंट मीनिंग है अब आप देखते हैं कि आप कहते हैं आप एक वर्ड इफ यू स्पीक अब आप कोई वर्ड बोल रहे हैं इट्स द कॉन्टेक्ट आर डिफरेंट द कॉन्टेक्ट आर डिफरेंट ना आई गिव एन अदर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई से गो एनी आई से गो टू यू कैन गो क्या मतलब इसका बर्थडे ठीक है बाहर चले जाए ठीक है ठीक है लेकिन ये भी तो हो सकता है कि मैं आपको आपके साथ मैंने एक डील की है क्या जब मैं आपको गो बोलूँ आपने इसको थप्पड़ मार दें ठीक है ना ठीक है अब ये गो इसकी इंटरप्रिटेशन हमारी डिफरेंट है उसकी इंटरप्रिटेशन डिफरेंट है इसकी इंटरप्रिटेशन डिफरेंट ये कोर्ट वर्ड है एक कोर्ट वर्ड है तो इसलिए क्या के जो डाटा है जो डेटा है वो तो इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वन जीरो उसकी क्या इंटरप्रिटेशन है उसकी क्या रिप्रेजेंटेशन है इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द टाइप ऑफ द डेटा ओके अल्फा टुडे थैंक यू वेरी मच